any area of your life where you're not getting what you want is because you haven't raised your standards. Yep, that's what I said. Any area of your life that is not up to par for you, but you're still choosing to live that way is because you haven't raised your standards. And you know, friends, I wanna tell you, there is no easy approach to raise our personal standards, whether it comes to our health, our wellness, our fitness, any area of your life, self-empowerment, confidence, we can identify those low or um, average expectations that we have and we will find that that's what we're living and that's what we're attracting. So until you raise your standards, you will not get what you want. And again, I've mentioned this before, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing that you've been doing and expecting different results. So if you're living a life where you don't feel fulfilled and you're not happy and you want change, whether it is your health, your fitness, you wanna lose weight, you wanna engage in an exercise program, to create an amazing foundation for vitality for your life, but it's not happening. You've got to raise your expectations. And it really boils down to doing the work. And let's face it, most people are lazy. That's right. You can't get off the couch. You can't get out the front door. You know, you're lazy. That's what happens. Or you've got so much on your plate that you haven't organized your priorities, but it comes down to doing the work and investing the energy and investing the effort and consistently doing the behaviors and the habits that support whatever new benchmark that you've created. Without the behaviors and without the habits, you're still gonna be doing what you've always been doing. What you do now is how you do everything. And the thing is, is that living in the present and elevating our expectations is one of the best things you can do because friends, the past is gone, right? So here's the thing. What happens if you don't raise your standards? Well, you keep getting what you've got nothing changes. So your life is not going to change unless you have some fairy magic wand that I wave over my clients all the time. But so you're gonna still live in a state of a lack of self-confidence or low self-esteem or not enough self-love or you know, you're not able to speak your voice because you don't feel like you're strong enough to be able to do that or you're gonna carry around that extra 20 pounds because you're not increasing your personal standards. So what I want you to know about today is that I have done that in the past. I had to change my standards for my life because I wanted more. I wanted more than what a brutal divorce left me. I wanted more um, than the work that I was doing being um, geographically dependent as a master personal trainer. I wanted more. And so in order to, to change my life, I had to raise my standards and say, hey, I can build an online business. And if I hadn't, look at what my business would look like now. I'd have to be doing underground personal training and underground coaching, right? So we've got to raise our standards. And what I'm going to share with you today is how you can do that. I'm gonna give you four steps on how to raise your personal standards, okay? So number one is you wanna name and claim your belief. What is it that you want to elevate? So if you wanna lose 20 pounds, you can say, all right, instead of I can't lose 20 pounds because I just don't have the tools and I don't have the energy to do it, you can reframe that and say, I'm going to lose 20 pounds and I'm gonna break it down week by week and month by month and make a plan and that will create a new personal standard for your life. So what you wanna do is name and claim your belief and identify the limiting belief, what's holding you back. If you feel like, well, I can't go forward because I don't have enough confidence, you want to um, change that and create a new message and a more challenging one on the opposite end of the spectrum that says, I am a confident, powerful woman and here's how I'm going to build my confidence. Number two, you wanna visualize your reality of raising the bar. Okay, so you're gonna see yourself raising the bar. You're gonna see yourself making a plan to take that action so that you can raise your standards for your life so that you can feel better. So you wanna feel better, and you wanna drop the weight because that's gonna make you feel better. So you've got a plan, you've got a new belief, you're um, overcoming the old belief, and now you're gonna visualize raising the bar. And you're going to see yourself taking action towards that. You're gonna see yourself perhaps uh, embarking on an exercise routine or eating healthier, okay? Then number three is visualizing the outcome. And so the thing is, is 
What if you don't start pursuing these goals? What is it going to look like? You're going to continue to feel lousy. You're going to continue to feel unhealthy. You're going to continue to not be vibrant and be able to take action towards your goals. So you want to visualize the outcome, but not just visualize it. You want to take action. Number four is you've got to act. You've got to step into action. So after you visualize what steps I need to take in order to do that, then you're going to start taking action and you're going to start taking action every day. So remember, small steps move mountains and you just have to continue to do that. So after you rewrite your personal standards of what you want, whether it's visualizing new health and wellness or having vitality, you've got to get into action. There's no way around this. Remember earlier I said it takes energy and commitment. It's going to take behavior changes and habit changes in order to do that. And so you can raise the standard by um, deciding what it is that you want and then writing up the roadmap and use that as your guiding principle. So who thinks that they can do this? Drop a comment below if you think that you can do this. And the thing is, is that if you are ready to turn your should haves into your must haves and stop settling for where you are now and raise your standards, now is the time to do it. And I want to invite you. I've got a, a PDF that's free and it's called three habits that keep you stuck. And if you want to get unstuck, click on the link below and it, you can have that free, DF, that free PDF. It's yours now. If you want to take action, this is going to help you do that. So stay tuned because I've got something else great coming up. This is Shelly Marinka. And I know that you can raise your standards and change your life. You just have to decide. You just have to commit. And your commitment has to be bigger than wishing. Okay? All right, you guys. Love you.